Well, hey, 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 good looking. Wanna see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, grab a hold of that vine and let's get cooking. Good looking. Today, I am so excited because I am doing a Home for the Holidays collaboration video. And it's with Helga's Pennsylvania Cooking and Homesteading Channel. And today, I am doing Beef for a Lot. It is my husband's family favorite holiday tradition. So, I want to sit there and share it with each and every one of you. So, follow me into my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Well, hey there, good looking. Today, I'm going to sit there and bring you along and make one of my husband's family's tradition. And it is beef for lawn. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Now as you see I have some thinly sliced bottom round steak. Now you can use top round steak. Um, you can use quite a different few cuts of meat but my mother-in-law always made hers of a round steak so I wanted to stay true to her form of the way that she made hers for my husband because after all this is a family recipe. Now I'm going to sit there and take the bottom round steak out of a package and I'm going to put it down on my cutting board so we can go on from there. Now as you can see these are sliced pretty dang thin. That is what you're going to want for the beef roulade. Let's put the thicker end up here. Now, I'm going to go ahead, open up the bacon up here, and I'm going to take a couple slices of the bacon, and I'm just going to partially cook the bacon. All right, now I have some of the bacon that I laid down on a baking sheet that I have some paper towel underneath it, and that's going to just collect some of the bacon grease. Like I said, we're just going to partially cook this. So go ahead, put this in a hot oven, and partially cook yours as well. Now, while our bacon is partially cooking, we can go ahead and put down a thin layer of mustard. Now it can be stone ground mustard, it can be whatever type of mustard you want. I choose to use the Jack Daniels Honey Dijon Mustard. So let's go ahead and put down a thin layer Go ahead, spread that all out. And I'm going to do these to all the thinly sliced bottom round uh, steaks. Now, sprinkle some pepper down on top. and put some kosher salt down on them. My partially cooked bacon is out of the oven. I'm just going to set this off to the side. And now I'm going to grab a slice and we're going to sit there and go ahead and put like two slices on each thinly sliced 
bottom round steak as such. And I'm going to do that to the rest of these. Okay, now before we start rolling these out, I suggest getting out a few toothpicks because we're going to be using quite a few of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get out my toothpicks. What we would do is we would simply just start to roll the bottom round steak and the bacon. Roll it all up. And then take one of them toothpicks and I like to secure everything all together. So I want you to do the same thing. And now with my knife, I'm just going to sit there and cut this right in half. And as you see, the bacon is on the inside. And now I'm going to sit there and do the rest of these as I just have done that one. Now that we have these all rolled up and cut up into, you know, little individual rolls, let's pan over to our slow cooker over here. And down inside of there, I have two cups of beef broth. And now to that, we're going to add one tablespoon of the dried minced onion. So let's go ahead, add that. And to that, we're going to be adding one teaspoon of dried minced garlic. So let's go and add that. You're going to be needing one teaspoon of tomato paste. Now, if you don't have tomato paste, you can sit there and use dehydrated tomato paste that I showed you how to do. And I'm just going to sit there and take a teaspoon of my dehydrated hydrated tomato paste and we're just going to add that inside of the crock pot as well. And now the last thing that we're going to have to add is give it a good splash of red cooking wine. Just as such. Now I'm going to grab a hold of my whisk that I have over here and now we're just going to give everything a good whisk. And now I am all ready to sit there and to add, hold on, let me pan this up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to sit there and add all of the beef rouen down inside. So, go ahead and do the same thing. Now, 
Now, go ahead, place your cover on the crock pot. We're going to sit there and put this on high, and I'm going to cook these for four hours. I'll see you in about four hours. Let's see if my husband's family's recipe of beef roulon is done. I know he's anxiously awaiting for this to be hitting his plate. Like I said, this is one of his family's recipes. And my mother-in-law always, always made this for him. So, I'm going to plate some up for him. Now, if you were to be serving these to guests and stuff, guys, remove the toothpicks before serving. And now, I'm also going to give them some of the coast mushrooms that I've made. Plate them up as well for him. Now, you can sit there and thicken up the juice in here. And you can also thicken up the juice inside of the roulade and your meat. Now, you can serve the roulade over mashed potatoes, over rice. You can eat them plain. But as you see on my husband's plate so far, here's the beef for lad. Here is the steakhouse mushrooms, his baked potato. And now I'm just going to sit there and plate up some green beans on his plate. And then he should be able to eat. And there you go. That's how easy it is to make beef roulon. Happy Seasons Eatings. Now, y'all be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share. Subscribe today and tap that little bell. That way you'll always be notified every time I do put on a new video. And y'all come back now. You hear?